Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 11th, 2020. So yesterday we had, boy, those bulls were pushing in the tech sector again. If we take a look at the cues, um, we had the tech um, giants really leading the market, continuing to push higher, as there seems to be seem to have have been just an un. Um, unending desire to buy very high priced stocks um, pushing up into all time highs. But unfortunately, um, that was not the case around the rest of the market. We saw Diamonds, SPY and um, IWM close lower on the day. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we saddle up Let's grab ourselves something to drink and let's settle in for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we're getting that uh, virtual rug pull right out from under um, everyone this morning. Um, all of a sudden, according to the news, all of a sudden the market is um, concerned about the rising cases of corona around the country. It was as if we were just um, uh, nothing concerned the market there for a while, and we rallied and rallied and rallied and rallied and rallied. There were lots of clues of a potential pullback, and unfortunately the way this market acts nowadays is it pulls the carpet out from underneath traders and investors all at once in an overnight session. So sadly, those folks who were buying up a bunch of positions or continuing to buy positions are going to find a little bit of pain this morning. Um, right now, Dow futures are pointing to a 650 point drop. So that big gap last week on that jobs number, it looks like we're gonna pull that all back all at once. It's just gonna rip that Band-Aid off really, really hard. And we're gonna pull back pretty substantially. So here's the thing. Um, it's really difficult to understand what, what um, could occur here in this market. I would not, suspect that the bulls will give up easily. Um, they're going to fight back pretty hard. Unfortunately, because we have really um, stretched out this move to the upside, that pullback could be rather substantial. So we're filling that gap here this morning. You can see we're pushing back into this area here. The if that doesn't hold, we have some support areas along here, but the major support is all the way back down here, which could be a pretty ugly move if that were the case. And if we truly are concerned about the rising cases, infection rates, and hospitalizations in um, the coronavirus, that might be a situation. This morning, we're seeing airlines, cruise lines, retail, plunging pretty tough this morning. Um, they were being bought up like crazy over the last few days. And um, those folks will feel some pain this morning uh, plunging back down. So what can we look forward to? Well, first off, we have a little price support um, right in this area. So we may, and that's just filling that gap. So we may hold right in this area with that little bit of price support. If we continue to push lower from there, watch for a little price support into here. And if that doesn't hold, price support could come right down to here. And I wouldn't expect us to drive much lower than that. Now, if we look at the technicals of the chart, you can see we do have a 200-day moving average right here. That could be our saving grace, and it could be the thing that helps us hold that support. But once again, if we slip below, there's a 500-day, 34 EMA, and... Um, would be approaching that 50-day moving average if we pulled all the way back to here. So keep that in mind. A test of the 50-day moving average would not be out of the question, particularly if we are actually going to become concerned about the coronavirus again. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY getting a substantial pullback, and it will be filling the gap. Once again, I will not expect that the bulls are going to give up easily. They're going to fight hard. 
And even though we were getting some reemergence of the bears, remember those bulls can defend really, really well at times and even push us right back up. So don't count them out. Don't just suspect that we're just short now and, uh, because they will fight back. So if we drop in here and filling this gap, notice that we have a pretty decent level of price support right there. So if that holds, we could be in good shape. We could see those bulls defend that area and a bounce back um, would be possible um, in that case. However, if we do slip down past th or through that level, a pullback to the 200 day would seem fairly logical. This is a really an extreme move in the SPY and could be one of those things that we pull back and see. If we come off of this trend, you can see that 200 day moving average wouldn't be all that much of a surprise if we did test that. So watch that closely um, as we battle this out today. And there's going to be a little bit of fear creeping in. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now, the NASDAQ has been by far the strongest of the indexes. And the major concern I would have here is not so much of a pullback. We desperately need a pullback, as a matter of fact. What my big concern is, is if those big tech giants start to sell. If we start seeing some profit taking coming in those big tech giants, they have been the majority of the levity of the market here recently. They have pushed and pushed. They've lifted the Dow, they've lifted the SPY, they've lifted the Q, the NASDAQ. If they really start to feel some pressure here and see some selling, that may be a little bit difficult here for all the indexes um, to overcome. So let's watch this. As we pull back, if we were to pull back right into this high right here, that wouldn't be all that much of a surprise, right? Just to come back to test that level. That could be a pretty painful pullback though, if that were the case. Now, if that doesn't support or hold, we've got levels down in here that can do that. And um, a 50 day moving average, that's a long ways away. That would be kind of a painful pullback, but really wouldn't be all that out of the question um, as well. So kind of keep that in mind. We could see a little bit of pain here if those bears really assert themselves. Now, whether or not they can with the FOMC keeping interest rates low and you know out there um, pumping money into the bond markets, I don't know if they can sustain any kind of downtrend or push down at all. Just, it, it could be a painful morning for a lot of folks. And then IWM, IWM, um, it really wasn't pretending yesterday. IWM with financials being under pressure really saw some heavy selling yesterday, pulling back, failing its at the 500 day, failing its 200 day. And you can see it is gapping well below that uh, big move, uh, that jobs number gap. Um, and we could even see some additional selling in here pretty easily. Um, so watch that closely. Um, it would be an ugly pullback if we actually came all the way back to the 50 day moving average. Uh, maybe down here around the 34 EMA would make some sense. And, and that would be just a fill of this gap area over here and back down into more of a, a larger support area in price. Watch that closely. Now, um, if we take a look at the VIX, and this is something that I've been warning about and um, talking about that the VIX, uh, whoops, the VIX had been signaling a little bit of fear, a little bit of concern as we've been rising in the NASDAQ and just pushing and pushing and pushing. Um, the, the VIX has been showing us a little bit of concern and we're holding that 200 day moving average. Now this morning, I suspect the downtrend here in the VIX is going to be completely breached. But let's not get too excited about that because it's really only going to matter if we pop through, hold the downtrend as support and uh, move up from there. Um, we've got that 50 day moving average up in here. I don't know where we're going to go for sure, but we could approach that 50 day as resistance and then 
uh, continue um, our pullback. So watch that carefully. Now let's take a look at some of the support and resistance levels in the chart. And if we, whoops, if we take a look at some of those support and resistance levels, you can see we have that resistance level right up in here that if we push up toward that 50 day moving average that could find that resistance in there and then stop um, that fear from rising too much more so let's keep an eye on that like i say it really it really won't be that big of a deal unless we actually prove to hold this higher low and begin that uptrend here in the vix so watch that close um t2122 has been signaling um all along has been signaling a problem um, in the market that we have been extended and maintaining that overextension um uh, tenaciously and now this morning it's going to get ripped out from under us all at once um and leave retail traders kind of just holding the bag so um, keep an eye on that closely now one of the things that we might see with such a big move lower we could swing all the way back down here all at once so um, watch that close and just keep an eye on it who knows how how deep uh, today's sell-off might might be right now dow futures are down 660 so pretty painful on the morning let's take a look at our economic calendar and let's see what we've got going on here on our net economic calendar for today we do have a few things to be paying attention to whoops sorry i ended up picking up that again um as you can see we've got jobless claims here this morning now they're expecting another you know one and a half million or more uh, folks and jobless claims um, but that is a little bit better than the prior report if it comes in there so uh, lately we've been using jobless claims as a reason to rally um, it didn't matter how much how many people lost their jobs we rallied on it um, let's see if that continues today it's possible with this being a little bit better than possibly it could be a little bit better than the last reading that we actually see those bulls defend um, on that price level so watch that close um, we also have ppi this morning that can move the market around substantially so let's keep an eye on that we have the natural gas report and then we have a 20-year bond announcement and the fed balance sheet later on in the day so kind of sliding into a weekend here as we um, start feeling a little bit of fear for coronavirus we do have a couple of things on the calendar for tomorrow but i uh, wouldn't expect them to move things around all that much we have um a few companies reporting earnings today remember earnings season is really um, winding down but a few notables to to pay attention to today so let's take a look we've got lulu reporting this morning now i don't know if this um, price action right here is reflecting uh, the earnings report yet i'm not sure but only a little tiny pullback here this morning and considering the market pulling back hard so hard that's kind of an amazing thing lulu holding up very very well so keep an eye on that today adobe adobe will be reporting today it's gapping down a bit this morning i think that's more of a function of the market selling off than it is the earnings report yet let's keep an eye on adobe um plce children's place uh, reporting this morning looks like it is gapping lower this morning um, and that again once again may just be a function of the market play dave and busters also reporting today looks like they are gapping substantially lower that could be a function of the market obviously um you know an adult um arcade may not be the best place if we are starting to get concerned about coronavirus again and then pvh um, on the list as well and it is gapping a bit lower this morning also so keep an eye on that so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day hopefully you're protected hopefully you are heeding the warnings 
to just be a little bit cautious, not be buying too much, kind of staying small in the market, taking those profits on the way up so that you're not being heavily damaged this morning. Um, so hopefully you'll have a great day in this market. And if this is the first time, guys, that you have seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment, helps um, the channel continue to grow. Finally, um, was able to get caught up here a little bit and post some of those training videos on the channel. Hopefully you guys are um, enjoying those and getting some good information out of those. Um, make sure you click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I hope you appreciate the fact that I don't try to do any prediction um, in these videos at all. It's just really looking at the technicals and the price action that um, drives these videos to try and keep the emotion out of it and all of that predictive stuff that you see um, all over the news and, and, and all over the internet, as a matter of fact. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But I got to tell you guys, some of the stocks that I'm showing here, everything has been mostly long. And I have to continue to stay mostly long because the trend is long. Um, until that trend breaks, um, I won't be doing predominantly um, looking or won't be predominantly looking for short trades. But there are some out there, we'll talk about those. Let's take a look. There have been some warnings that I have been talking about with um, silver rising, gold um, moving higher, some warnings out there, some concerns. Uh, to be paying attention of. We saw um, utilities kind of holding up here. That was another concern. And then we started to see some defensive stocks. Defensive stocks um, like Hershey. Hershey starting to hold up. Um, Colgate Palmolive. We started to see um, uh, stocks like Clorox. All of those trying to lift back up some of that defensive sector stocks um, gaining some ground. And so that was a little bit of a clue that we could be reaching um, a kind of a, a tip over point in this extremely extended rally that we've been in. And hopefully you've kind of been paying attention to that. I am two of the two of the things that I've got alerted right here, um, Hershey. Um, I'll be watching that today. I'll be keeping an eye on this MDLZ, another defensive sector uh, stock um, that may be um, setting up here keeping an eye on that. I suspect the stocks that have been quite extended here recently, we may see pullbacks in um, things like Home Depot uh, could get a pullback. They, they've they been just driving, driving, driving higher. We're probably going to see a bit of a pullback. Um, stocks like Lowe's, um, I was watching this for an upside move. Now gapping lower this morning, we'll want to keep an eye on that. Other places you might look uh, might be places like PepsiCo. PepsiCo moved up yesterday, another defensive sector stock moving up. It is gapping lower this morning, so let's watch this in here. It's not ready for prime time yet. And I've been also keeping an eye on Coca-Cola. You can see it's been on the rise here. It is getting a substantial pullback this morning, so just watch that closely. It may suffer as much damage as, as all the other stocks out there, so watch that close. On Coca-Cola. Um, other things that you may want to take a look at, there's been good stocks holding up well like Intel. Um, the tech sector has been extremely strong and if the bears are, I mean if the bulls are going to come in to, and defend, the place that I would expect them to defend is in the tech sector. So keep an eye on that tech sector. We want to watch this right in here. Um, and um, stay focused on these kind of stocks. It is pulling back this morning, but may have that opportunity to uh, push on through if the bulls actually defend. Um, NVIDIA would be a place to keep an eye on. It had a really good move yesterday, and it is pulling back this morning, but once again, holding in its trend may set up that opportunity if those bulls do come in and defend on that chart. So keep an eye on those. Pay system stocks have been 
um, setting up pretty good as well, like SQ. SQ holding up well yesterday. It is pulling back this morning, but that just keeps it in this consolidation. It's not really breaking down yet. So we might want to watch that if we hold this price support in here and those bulls come back in to defend, we might get that opportunity to go ahead and push on higher. If we take a look at um, uh, Visa, Visa also holding in there nicely. Now it's getting a little bit of a pullback here this morning, but if it can kind of hold in that trend, hold in that support area, there may still be that opportunity for upside. Um, so keep a close eye on um, those charts out there in that tech. Now, one of the places that I'm gonna be particularly interested in is if we start to see some heavy pulling back or heavy profit taking in some of the big internet tech stocks. You can see we have a very extreme overextension here in Apple, almost a parabolic move. And if we start seeing selling coming in here, we're gapping down uh, this morning on this, um, a pullback um, all the way back into here would not be a surprise. And unfortunately, it could be a really sharp pullback to that. If we really see some of these big internet giants starting to find those sellers, it could be a painful sell-off in the market because these guys have been the majority of the lift of both uh, of all the, the Dow, the SPY, and uh, the NASDAQ. So watch that closely if these big tech giants really start seeing some profit takers coming in. Um, Apple, um, Amazon, um, would be another to watch carefully if it really sells off almost parabolic in that um, in the last few days here on that move um, take a look at Google um, Google has been moving up and um, that is a big big part of the indexes that we'll want to keep an eye on remember Microsoft Google um, Apple and um, Amazon to make up 20% of the S&P 500 weighting. So if they if they see that pressure and they start pulling back, we could uh, see a pretty substantial sell-off. So be really careful and I'll be particularly uh, wanting to watch those this morning. Now I know this isn't really a, um, a trade that you're probably going to be taking, but something to be watchful of. So with that, everyone, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. Everyone stay safe. Be very, very careful. It's going to be a wild morning of volatility. We'll see you all right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day.